This January month of 2023 has prepared lots of significant astronomical events for us, including lunar occultation of Uranus and Mars, quadranted meteor showers, 2022 E3 ZTF, a bright comet, passing the Earth, Venus and Saturn conjunction, and many more. Most of the astronomical events on this month can be seen with unaided eye, although some may require a good pair of binoculars and telescope for best viewing. So let's discuss about them. January 1, Lunar Occultation of Uranus. On January 1, the Moon will pass in front of Uranus, creating a lunar occultation. Lunar occultations are only ever visible from a small fraction of the Earth's surface. Lunar occultation of Uranus will be visible from parts of Europe and Canada. The map below shows the visibility of the occultation across the world. January 3, Lunar Occultation of Mars. On January 3, the Moon will pass in front of Mars, creating a lunar occultation visible from parts of Africa and Maldives. The map shows the visibility of the occultation across the world. January 3, 4 Quadrantids Meteor Shower. The Quadrantids is an above average shower with up to 40 meteors per hour at its peak. The Quadrantid Meteor Shower will run from December 12 to January 12. It peaks this year on the night of the January 3 and morning of the January 4. This year the nearly full moon will block out most of the fainter meteors. But you may still be able to catch few good ones. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation boots but can appear anywhere in the sky. January 6 full moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth, as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This full moon is known as the wolf moon because this is the time of year when hungry wolf packs howled outside their camps. January 12, Comets 2022 E3 ZTF at Perihelion. On March 2, 2022, astronomers discovered a new comet, which they named 22 E3 ZTF. The comet has been drawing closer to the inner solar system. And although it is brightening, it's still too dim to see without a telescope. However, when it comes nearest the Earth and Sun in early 2023, the comet will become easily visible in binoculars. The celestial visitor will be at perihelion or closest to the Sun on January 12, 2023. Spot Comet E3 in binoculars on January 15. Hopefully by then, it will be visible in binoculars. Likewise, at its brightest, the comet may attain visibility to the unaided eye in late January 2023. By January 31, you can spot Comet F3 just after sunset. January 21 New Moon The moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This is the best time of the month to observe faint objects, such as galaxies and star clusters, because there is no moonlight to interfere. January 22, Venus-Saturn Conjunction January 22, Venus-Saturn Conjunction On January 22 evening, bright Venus and beautiful Saturn have a close conjunction. The planetary pair are only 0.4 degrees apart, southwest evening sky. The planets will fit together in the field of view of a telescope, but you can also see them with a pair of binoculars or even with the naked eye. January 23, Moon near Venus and Saturn. January 23, Moon near Venus and Saturn. On January 23, the thin waxing crescent moon shines low in the sky with Venus and Saturn after sunset in southwest evening sky. Luckily, they will be bright enough to spot without any optical devices. January 30, Mercury at Greatest Western Elongation. January 30, Mercury at Greatest Western Elongation. The planet Mercury reaches Greatest Western Elongation of 25 degrees from the Sun. This is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the morning sky. Look for the planet low in the eastern sky just before sunrise. January 31, Lunar Occultation of Mars. On January 31, 
The moon will pass, in front of Mars, creating a lunar occultation visible, from parts of the Americas. The map shows, the visibility of the occultation across the world. Visible planets in January 2023. Mercury, not so well placed for viewing, at the end of month. But Mercury nears Venus on 1 January, in southwest evening sky, after that it is hard to see, and it will be in morning sky. In January 30, greatest western elongation, you can spot Mercury in east morning sky. Venus, a brilliant evening planet, Venus. On January 1, it will be near Mercury, setting 80 minutes after the Sun. Venus is close to Saturn on 22 January. Also on January 23, the pair will appear with a beautiful waxing crescent moon in southwest evening sky. In this month, you can spot Venus in southwest direction 70 to 80 minutes after sunset. Mars. In the evenings throughout January 2023, bright red Mars is in the constellation of Taurus, the bull. It's near the shimmering Pleiades star cluster. Jupiter. Jupiter is best at the start of January, thereafter losing altitude as darkness falls. A waxing crescent moon sits nearby on evenings of 25 and 26 January in southwest evening sky. Saturn. Saturn is poorly placed for viewing for January and, you can spot, Saturn will join with Venus on 22 January and on 23 January also with waxing crescent moon in evening in southwest direction. Uranus. Well-placed evening, planet Uranus. Uranus is visible under dark sky conditions at its highest point. But you need telescopes or binoculars to spot Uranus, it will rise in east and set in west. Neptune. As it's the farthest planet, it will be appear a little dot even in telescopes or binoculars. You can see, waxing crescent moon sits between Jupiter and Neptune on the evening of 25 January. Here are the phases of moon for January 2023. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and share this video. Also subscribe my channel for more space videos like this.